Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have another online battle for Total War Room 2. My opponent today is Wurses. I fought him in the last online battle where we both played as Rome and he defeated me. We fight again in this battle. He is Sparta and I am Carthage. So I have four units of skirmishers, I have some Hoplites, some Sacred Band, some Libyan infantry, some cavalry. Uh, a unit of mercenary cavalry and a unit of war elephant. So that is my build for this battle. And he is on the hill as you can see, so he has an advantage straight away. We are fighting slightly uphill. And I begin the battle by bringing my units forward. I position my cavalry in the brush at the bottom of the hill. I was hoping to try and draw him towards, towards there. That was my initial plan for this battle. Unfortunately that doesn't come to fruition. Um, so yeah, that's a fail by me straight away. <laughs> um, he has skirmishers in his front, in his front rank. I was hoping to try and draw them away with my cavalry. To try and break up some of his formation. That doesn't quite work, so I decide to bring them to this hill across here. And place them there, maybe go for a charge later on. That was my initial thought, my initial thinking. Bring my Libyan infantry forward bring my Africa and war elephants. I was quite confident going into this battle. I've, I've played quite a bit as Carthage on online before and I've also got my experience from my Carthage campaign on very hard difficulty on my YouTube channel so I have I am used to some of these units now but uh, you'll see now why this doesn't work. I do make some blunders in this battle and I won't spoil it for you at this point. I'll let you watch so you can see for yourself <laughs> see what a bad battle is like for, for me. So I bring my war elephants forward. I try to try to do what I usually do: spread my units out, try to envelop the enemy. At the moment, he's going towards the top of that hill, which is a very, very sound strategy, I may say. Always go for the hill if you can get to a hill. Gives you aerial advantage. Gives you uh, your units momentum when they fight in downhill, especially for a charge, and especially for spear units such as the Spartans and Royal Spartans and so forth. So yeah, um, these cavalry units by me are being wasted now at the bottom of this hill. I've been turned around. I should have probably gone for the hill myself. That's probably the biggest mistake I've made. I've allowed him to take that hill. I should have gone towards that initially because he now has the battlefield advantage. And I was a bit panic I was panicking a little bit at this point because I was thinking, well, I kind of have to attack him. He has the advantage. I could try to outflank him, but that may not work. Uh, so I bring my two Hoplite units forward, I bring my uh, missile troops forward and attack some of his units which are sticking out like a sore thumb at the moment. At least that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so um, I bring... just trying to remember what I did. I bring my Hoplite forward, bring my Libyan infantry forward as well. I tried to outflank, tried to outflank him with the Libyan infantry and with the cavalry which you can see going behind his flank at the moment. I'm engaging him with my units but the problem, the biggest mistake I make is I, I go actually go head on to him with my spikes and he actually outnumbers me. He's got Royal Spartans in there which are elite units and yeah I made a big blunder here. I put them into Phalanx, I charge straight in without really thinking. <laughs> Looking back at this now I realise what a mistake I've made. So I send the elephants in against his Royal Spartans. I try to turn my missile troops into some sort of uh, neat formation where I can attack uh, multiple units rather than focusing on one. Maybe I should focus on one and try to pick them off one by one, but uh, I didn't do that. The Spartans are very good in this game. They and a fair play to my opponent here. He does hold his formation very well on the hill. He doesn't really allow me to get past his flanks, which you can see. He's holding me up very well, forcing me to to uh, you know, either attack or run. And of course, me being the impatient person that I am, go for the charge, which is probably a bad thing, but oh well, it happens. So yeah, um, sending in everything, attacking the heroes of Sparta and the Royal Spartans. I tell this guy at the top corner to bugger off by suppressing his advice. <laughs> Uh, and I'm starting to waver in the centre now, this is where things start to go bad really. I've charged in head on, I'm starting to to waver, my elephants are now gone. 
everything has been gone, taken from me on that left flank more or less. Just trying to pick off as many units as I can. My general is going to the fray now as well. Turn Intimidate on, try to intimidate one of his units. I also checked to see if these units got Draco, but they haven't, so I was quite disappointed with that. Probably should have checked that before the battle. Not a very good strategy by me. So his general's come forward, I've gone for his general, or trying to go for his general. Problem is, they're Royal Spartans, and as you know, spikemen or phalanx against a cavalry is a no no, so never do that. I do send the one unit to try and uh, take out his skirmishers, which are behind his line. I do get them, I do do some damage to them, but not enough. And I'm starting to waver on the right flank now as well, so I'm slowly being taken apart bit by bit in this battle. And the, probably the two biggest mistakes, probably charging head on against the Royal Spartans and giving up the the high ground early in the battle. They're probably my two biggest, there's probably other mistakes as well, but I'd say they were the two biggest. That I made in this battle. But that's a great thing with these online battles. You can um, watch them over when, if you save a replay or if you record like I do. You can go back. You can do. You do. I can do my commentary like I'm doing now, and I can actually see the the the, the positives and the negatives of both uh, combatants in this battle. And it's good because it's only you're only going to get better at uh, Total War if you play battles like this, and you try to devise different strategies. So. You know, fair play to my opponent, he did well, and I didn't so much. <laughs> but I do hope that you enjoy these online battles. If you do, I will continue to keep making them and upload as many as I can when I can. But this battle is almost over, so I'm attacking his Royal Spartans. He's, he's basically broken my whole line now, so he's able to charge forward willingly with all his units, knowing that I got nothing much to take him out with. And as you just saw a few seconds ago when I was talking to him in the chat in the top left corner, I said to him I have barely any infantry left. All I got is my is my Libyan infantry basically. And there they are in the big uh in the big mosh pit which they're fighting at the moment. The big blob. The big blob on the hill. But that's basically it. That's basically the end of this battle. So I hope you've all enjoyed this online battle. Congratulations to my opponent again for a great battle by him. I've been Dragonheart, and I shall leave you all with the battle results screen. Until next time, goodbye.